April 1, 2008. It was a day of new beginnings at First United Methodist Church, Mount Vernon. That was the day Pete Adrian rode into town in his big white truck with his beautiful bride, Maggie. He came here with celebration of Christ in his heart, joy in the Lord, and enthusiasm in ministry. Our church witnessed many new beginnings in the three-year tenure with Pete. We paid off nearly a half million dollars in debt for the Family Life Center, and we celebrated. We saw the old fellowship hall transformed into God's garden for children, and we celebrated. We saw the Family Life Center kitchen transformed with a new industrial cook stove, refrigerator, and freezer, and we celebrated. We witnessed the transformation of a classroom into the Crossroads Coffee Center, and we celebrated. We brought screens into the sanctuary for worship, and we celebrated. We saw clavinova and bells added to our musical instruments, and we celebrated. We took challenges in stride. A new roof, major repair to a leaking foundation, new windows were installed, new grass laid, and new landscaping planted. Pete loves his church, and he loved to support and tell people about our heart for mission. Pete was here when we opened the Family Life Center as a Red Cross shelter for the victims of Hurricane Gustav and Hurricane Ike. He watched with joy as we ushered in Lunches of Love, a community program to feed needy children in our community five days a week. Our April Mission Sunday was a special Sunday Pete always looked forward to. Pete helped start the Salvation Army donations in Mount Vernon last Christmas and loved every minute of it. His heart was warmed whenever pleas went out to help with youth missions, UMCOR, children's missions. It always came true that the more support this church gave to missions and outreach, the more God took care of the needs of this church. Pete Adrian is a child at heart. He loves to interact with children of all ages. children at Rainbow on Wednesday mornings, the children of the church, God's Olympians, and Rotation Sunday School. He kept a bowl of candy in his office, waiting for children to come for more. He put up a whiteboard on his wall so children could work on homework and show them their latest art skills and math skills. He loved time with the youth and time with the adults and senior citizens. Pete is a preacher who loves to make the Bible come alive. He has a passion for Bible study and preaching. He loves to make the study of Christ a joy and a celebration. Bible study with Pete was always filled with lots of laughter and fun, as well as serious learning. His sermons are always filled with laughter, drama, and enthusiasm.
June 2011 ushers in another year of new beginnings. Pete and Maggie have been called back to First United Methodist Church Sulphur Springs, and we send them forth with our prayers. We say thank you for the memories, for all the wonderful new beginnings we have experienced together. And as always, we celebrate a new day, a new dawning, and forever friendships. God bless.